Welcome to this Internet Explorer 11 end of life video. Today we're going to take a look at how you can better manage the Internet Explorer 11 end of life in your environment, who is affected, what is affected, um, and how this will impact you. And we're also going to take a look at Landsuper itself and see how you can use it to better manage your environment. So for the Internet Explorer 11 end of life, uh, Microsoft have give, has given a specific date, which is the June 15 of 2022. Uh, on that date is what they mentioned, the end of life in an Explorer 11. However, there are some uh, details that you do need to know. Um, for example, not all of the operating systems are affected. Uh, they're talking specifically about the still in service Windows 10 versions that are not a long-term service branch. So that means that the server versions, for example, are not affected. And taking a look at our own insights, we can see that about 46% of all Windows 10 devices will be affected by this Internet Explorer 11 end of life. Now, what will happen after June 15th? There are basically two options, either the uh, opening or trying to open the desktop app of Internet Explorer 11 will cause a redirect to Microsoft Edge or they will completely disable Internet Explorer 11. And they haven't given a specific time window on when this will happen on which version. They've basically just said any time after June 15th, this can happen with presumably a update. So let's head into Landsuper and take a look at what we can find and what we can use Landsuper for to better manage how Internet Explorer 11 is being used in our environment. So to begin with the Internet Explorer end of life in Landsweep itself, we've created a specific report to give you a better overview of all of your devices, as well as when the end of life will happen for that specific device. Um, so we're going to head over to our report section where we're going to look for Internet Explorer 11. And we're going to start with the end of life overview. Um, so here we get basic details about the device, but the more interesting data is a bit to the right hand side where we have uh, specific columns for when the Internet Explorer 11 end of life will happen for that device and whether it is affected or not, um, as well as an additional piece of information when the Internet Explorer uh, mode will go end of life. The Internet Explorer mode that it's referring to here is the specific mode in Microsoft Edge, which allows you to kind of emulate Internet Explorer 11 inside of Edge. So that also has an end of life that Microsoft has uh, published on their website. So that's also included. So you can see for all of the different operating systems that you are running within your environment, whether they will be affected by the Internet Explorer 11 end of life, and if not, uh, or additionally, also when the Internet Explorer mode in Edge will go end of life as well. Next up, we're going to take a look at uh, group policies. So Microsoft does have a group policy that you can enable, uh, which completely basically disables the Internet Explorer 11 desktop app and will also, because of that, automatically redirect any requests that should have gone to Internet Explorer 11 to Edge. So we'll open Edge instead. And with Landsweeper, we're able to um, scan this group policy and take a look on where it's actually enabled and where it's disabled. So again, we get a complete list of our devices. Um, as well as if you scan over to the right here, um, we can see whether the Internet Explorer 11 status, whether basically Internet Explorer 11 is still enabled or disabled. Uh, you can see a few disabled there as well to make that a bit easier. Uh, we can also simply filter on it um, so we can get a complete view of all the ones where it's disabled. And uh, we can see here that these two specific uh, VMs that I have here the Internet Explorer 11 app has already been disabled there. So anything the users do on there, um, it won't open Internet Explorer 11 anymore. Then over to the next part, which is default browser. So you might want to get a re an overview of what the default browser settings are in your environment and what the users have set for their default browser. Um, so we've also created a report for that where you can get in one overview get all of your machines, as well as you can see here what the default browser setting is. Um, for the ones that aren't available yet, you have to make sure that you scan uh, the data when that user is logged in, because this is user-specific information, um, the, the default browser. So that's one caveat there. Lastly, what I've also done is use some of these reports to create a dashboard. 
So I've created a specific Internet Explorer 11 dashboard. It also has one additional piece of information. Um, so I've created chart reports. Those are all available on the website, uh, by the way, in the report library, if you want to start using them then yourself. Um, so a chart report on the uh, group policy status. So you can get a quick overview of, okay, how many of my, how many, how much percentage of my complete environment still has uh, Internet Explorer 11 enabled and how much does it already have disabled. Um, on the left-hand side is a new piece, um, which is also, which you can also find is the Internet Explorer 11 usage. So we can actually grab and see how many times has Internet Explorer 11 been used on each device in the last, this, in this specific example, in the last 30 days. Um, this is done by, uh, with a, some minor configuration and uh, grabbing information from the event log to see when the application was started in the past. Then in the middle, uh, I've created a small uh, alert report widget here with some uh, predefined filters. Um, so this is simply, I have here at the top, the group policy report that we've just taken a look at, um, but I've pre-filtered it to make sure that it only gives results where the group policy is not configured yet. So I have a, a quick view of how many devices I still need to work on, which in this case is 43. Um, I can see here that Internet Explorer 11 has been used four times in the last 30 days. Um, and also um, I've briefly or quickly adjusted the uh, default browser report to only show devices where Internet Explorer is a default browser. And I can see here that it's just one device left in my environment that is using uh, Internet Explorer 11 as its default browser at the moment. So with these tools, you have a lot more information on specifically how Internet Explorer 11 is being used currently in your environment, as well as you can use the group policy and other reports to better manage uh, where Internet Explorer 11 is already disabled. So when Microsoft eventually does send out the update to disable um, or redirect Internet Explorer 11 traffic to Edge, you're already ahead of the curve and you're not, uh, you know, there's no surprises for you. You won't get any complaints about users who are still trying to open Internet Explorer 11 or all of a sudden cannot find Internet Explorer 11 um, if for some reason they still prefer to use it. Um, so with all of these tools, I think you'll have a better shot at kind of preparing and being prepared for the Internet Explorer 11 end of life. So if you want to grab these resources, they're all available on our website. Um, we have multiple blogs dedicated to the Internet Explorer 11 end of life. Uh, in the report library, as I've mentioned, there are plenty of reports that you can use and use as a basis for additional reports that you want to create yourself. Um, if you don't have Land Super yet, you can head over to the website as well and start your free trial so you can try out all of the things that I've just shown um, and start using it yourself.